The affordable connectivity program began two years ago and is now helping more than 22 million households gain access to the Internet. But in just a few months, funding for this critical program is expected to run out, leaving many families wondering how they'll be able to pay for this vital service. It's our gateway to everything online, employment opportunities, education, social networks, even health care services. But internet access comes at a cost. At the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, more than 40% of households in Baltimore City lacked a home internet uh, connection or a broadband subscription. And during the pandemic, we relied on it even more. To bridge this digital divide, Congress established the Affordable Connectivity Program. It provides a $30 per month subsidy to low-income households across the United States to defer some of the costs of monthly internet service bills. That includes more than 275,000 households holds in Maryland, 80,000 right in Baltimore City, including Lisa Blue. You know, I'm on, a, I'm on a fixed income, you know, and I really needed the help. But she recently learned that benefit could soon be taken away and worries that she'll have to sacrifice to afford the bare essentials. I need a little, every little penny I can get, you know. It's, and plus, you know, the price of the food then went up, everything, cost of living then went up. Immensely. Congress does have a bill before them right now. It is a bipartisan bill uh, designed to fund an additional year of the Affordable Connectivity Program. But unfortunately, uh, due to in inaction from Congress, uh, that bill has not passed. And so right now, the program is at risk of running out of funding uh, come April of 2024. We asked Mayor Brandon Scott's office if they have plans to use local funds if Congress fails to act. A spokesperson said they established the Digital Equity Fund to invest in community-based organizations that help residents address issues of Internet connectivity. The deadline for this grant is currently closed. And Mayor Scott announced the launch of free Be More Wi-Fi, a free public Wi-Fi network at 50 city recreation centers by the end of 2024 and future expansion to senior centers and neighborhoods. We believe community Wi-Fi and public Wi-Fi are great solutions for people who are out and about in the community. But we certainly don't expect, uh, you know, an older adult to sit outside of a community center and connect with, with their physician uh, via telehealth services. It's important for the city of Baltimore, for our elected officials, officials in Baltimore to um, uh, hold Comcast and, and providers like Comcast accountable for not just the price of the service that they're providing, but the quality of the service that they're providing. In the meantime, Sam says to contact your service provider right away. Ask them about your options and make sure you won't be automatically enrolled into a more expensive program or locked into a contract with cancellation fees. She also encourages program participants to contact their elected officials to explain the importance of the ACP. I hope you enjoyed that Matter for Mallory. To watch more Matter for Mallory stories, click the box in the corner and be sure to tap that circle and subscribe to WMAR2 News for quick access to great content posted every day.